Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I wanted to have, take advantage of the polar vortex that came through earlier in the week. Um, probably last week when you're watching this video. And I froze some water balloons because I thought they'd look kind of cool exploding on camera. And uh, you'll notice I'm wearing short sleeves today. Uh, I'm shooting this video on a Saturday and the polar vortex came through on a Wednesday. So the low temperature when it was cold was 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Today it's 60. That's central Missouri weather for you. So let's start off with shooting a regular water balloon and see what that looks like on camera. So freezing the water balloons themselves was kind of a, a fun experiment and it just by itself. Uh, a lot of... They all froze, vaguely water balloon shape. Uh, some of them like this one, uh, the balloon burst before they were fully frozen, so we have a cavity. And then the water leaked out and froze to it, so it kind of looks a little goofy shaped. Uh, but then we have things like this that turned out really, really good. So if I have to do, if I get a chance to do this again, uh, I'll probably freeze them in separate tubs, just one or two. So this doesn't happen. Uh, but let's go ahead and shoot these and see what they look like on camera. So here's the balloon that looks most like a water balloon. Um, most of the balloon rubber is still on here, so we're going to shoot it first. We got our balloon set up down there. Let's, uh, let's see how this looks on slow-mo. Get my eyes on. So I hit the last one a little high, uh, but as you saw, the slow-mo still looked awesome. Uh, I put another balloon up there. We're going to try to hit it more close to the center of mass and see if we can't really get it to explode. So let's try this a second time. Put my eyes on. Uh, the reason I put my eyes on in case something flew back, but uh, something did fly back, I heard a piece of ice hit, or hit my table that's within arm's reach here. So always wear your eye protection when you do these things. Ice balloon, close up, primary. So I put up another water, another balloon, another one of the, let's do this again, three, two, one. I put up another of our ice balloons. Uh, this one's pretty friggin' clear, so let's do this again, because that sounded stupid. Three, two, one. So I put up another balloon. God damn it. I, I set up that, that, that. I can't even fucking talk today. What the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> I set up another balloon. This balloon's pretty clear. Uh, the ice is clear, so I put the camera just as close as I dare. Uh, try to get a really good close-up of it. Um, I'm not sure I'll catch the bullet in flight this time. Since uh, the camera, the slow-mo camera is more to the side, and I mean, it's a 45 caliber bullet, but it's still moving 800 feet per second. So it may not get caught in the video, but uh, we should get the results quite effectively. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so the last one looked pretty cool. Uh, the sun came out since came out from behind a cloud. So I'm going to hurry up and shoot it again. I tried to get a little closer, but I'm going to try it again uh, real quick before the sun goes gets out. Well, that looked cool from here. I don't know what it looked like on the slow-mo yet, but 
Yay. All right, we're going to try this again. I uh, slowed my high-speed camera down to 240 frames per second, which uh, lets me shoot it in 1080p. I also moved it to a different angle to try and get a little better view uh, with the sun coming in and out of the clouds. You know, light's kind of iffy sometimes, so this hopefully will get us a little better shot. But let's see what it looks like in 240 frames per second. Well, it was like it was snowing. Stuff fell all over me. I like that camera angle from the uh, the 240 frames per second, so I'm going to shoot one at 960 frames per second from the same angle. Let's see what that looks like. So that was actually a pretty interesting result. Um, I had two ice balloons that were frozen together, so I just set them both up. The As you saw on the high speed, the first one just disintegrated, but here's the second one. It's pretty much in shape, in the, you know, pretty decent shape. Ooh, starting to melt a little bit. Uh, hopefully it'll focus and you can see there's a crack uh, in the ice, but that's about it. Anyway, that's kind of interesting. That was just a fun video to shoot, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I had a lot of fun shooting it. Uh, if you like these kind of videos and want to see more like it, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you think I did something wrong or have suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. Take care, everybody.